Hi, I'm Mrs. McDonald, and I'm here to read this book, Chicken Chuck. Oh, it's such a good book. I've read it a couple times, and I love it. I found it at the library. You can find so many wonderful books at the library. This one is by Bill Martin Jr., and it's illustrated by Stephen Salerno. And I'm not just excited about this exciting book. I'm also excited about my eggs in my incubator because we are on day 16. We just finished 16 days. And on day 18, we go into lockdown. And hopefully on day 21, we'll have some little peep, 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 peeps starting to peck out of their shells. Oh, I hope so. I'm so excited and nervous all at the same time. But after I read the book, we will shine the light under a couple of the eggs to see the difference from whenever we did this about mm, seven days ago, okay? We'll see how much they've grown because those baby chicks, they grow fast. We might not even be able to get the light through the egg because the chick might be blocking all the light. We'll see what we can find. Okay, chicken chuck. Oh my, look at that shiny blue feather. A rooster named Chicken Chuck lived in a model barnyard. More than anything, he liked to eat. He had three meals a day and snacks in between. One day, Chicken Chuck found a big blue seed in the farmyard. When he ate it, a strange thing happened. See how shiny that is? My chickens like shiny things, so I think that's how he found it. Chickens like those things. A bright blue feather sprouted right in the middle of his forehead. It grew and grew and grew. <sighs> Where did you get that feather? Cackled Henny the hen. I want one too. I ate a seed, crowed Chicken Chuck, and this bright blue feather sprouted. I like that feather, hissed Necky the Goose. Me too, <laughs> grunted Blimpy the Pig. I want one like that, hee-haw, <laughs> brayed Donnie the Donkey. I eat seeds, said the Butterfat Cow, but I don't have a feather on my head. This was a special seed, Chicken Chuck said proudly. Perhaps you will find one too. So everyone gobbled seeds and waited for blue feathers to sprout. Nothing happened. Chicken Chuck chuckled. I'm the boss of the barnyard, for only I have a bright blue feather. And he became very bossy indeed. He made Necky the goose wash her neck. He made Blimpy the pig curl the little pig's tails. He made Donny the donkey wash his ears. He made Pluck the duck give the ducklings a bath every morning. And he made the little chicks hold in their fat little gizzards. Oh my, bossy, 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 bossy. One morning, a man came to the farmyard and pasted a poster on the barn. It was a picture of circus animals and circus clowns. See here, see here, hissed Necky the Goose. The white horse in the picture has two blue feathers on his head. He's even more handsome than Chicken Chuck. Even more handsome than Chicken Chuck, echoed Pluck the Duck. And Blimpy the pig, everyone in the barnyard admired the circus horse. He had two blue feathers. Chicken Chuck only had one. Oh, drumsticks, screamed Chicken Chuck. That can't be true. Feathers don't grow on horses. Perhaps they do, said the butterfat cow. That horse may have eaten a blue seed like the one you ate. Oh, look at that droopy, droopy feather. He's so sad now. Chicken Chuck slunk into the hen house. His bright blue feather drooped. For days he gulped seeds, hoping to sprout a second blue feather, but that feather didn't sprout. 
One morning at half past daybreak, Chicken Chuck stormed out of the hen house. I'm going to the circus, he squawked. We shall see if that horse really has feathers on his head. Look at him go. Oh, he's going. Look how fast he's going. Everyone followed Chicken Chuck as he strutted to the circus. There he saw the tigers and the lions and the bears. He saw a giraffe and an elephant, but he didn't see a white horse with blue feathers on his head. Do you see a white horse with blue feathers on its head? I don't. I just see one blue feather on Chicken Chuck, and it's a shiny one. Hmm. I wonder if he'll find a horse with two blue feathers on his head. Ah. Well, clabber milk, said the butterfat cow. Look here. Everyone crowded around to see a little monkey fast asleep. Wake up, you, screamed Chicken Chuck. Where can I find the white horse with the blue feathers on his head? Achoo! 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 The monkey blinked and began to sneeze. Achoo, achoo, achoo. Blue feathers make me sneeze, he said. Achoo! Oh, no. He grabbed Chicken Chuck's bright blue feather. Chicken Chuck squawked. He hopped. He bucked. He flapped his wings and screeched. The monkey held on. Quick as a flash, he pulled out Chicken Chuck's bright blue feather. He threw it as far as he could. Oh, no. My feather! My bright blue feather! Squawked Chicken Chuck. You pulled out my bright blue feather! I'm sorry, sneezed the monkey as tools, uh, tears ran down his cheeks. Oh, tears rolled down his cheeks. Sorry. I don't. Achoo, don't. Achoo. I don't like blue feathers. They make me cough. They make me sneeze. Achoo! Chicken Chuck began to cry. Don't be sad, said the monkey. I can give you lots of blue feathers. You can? <laughs> Shouted Donnie the donkey and Blimpy the pig and Pluck the duck. Can you give each of us a blue feather? Yes, come with me, wheezed the monkey. But I warn you, I may sneeze some more. Everyone followed the monkey to the white horse's stall. Look, screamed Chicken Chuck. There is a white horse. He does have two blue feathers. But they are tied to his head. Of course, Achoo! sneezed the monkey. Here is a box of blue feathers, like those the white horse wears. Please take all these blue feathers back to your barnyard. <gasps> <laughs> now the model barnyard is a mass of bobbing feathers. Pluck the duck, Henna the hen, Necky the goose, Blimpy the pig, even Donnie the donkey, and the butterfat cow wear bright blue feathers right in the middle of their foreheads. Chicken Chuck wears two blue feathers, but he isn't satisfied. He hopes someday he'll find another blue seed that will make another blue feather sprout right in the middle of his forehead. Do you think he'll ever find a shiny blue seed that he could eat to grow another big feather. Maybe. Maybe he will. Okay, did you like that? I like that story, but I'm more excited about this. So. Do you see me? Hi. I'm here in the dark. I'm going to check this egg and see what we see. Let's see what we see. 
Oh, it's very dark. I bet the baby chick is blocking the light. Oh, oh, let me turn around. Do you see the light here in the dark? So the baby chick's here and here's just a little bit of space left and the baby chick might be moving. Let me turn it this way, see if we can see anything move because the light has a hard time shining through because there's the baby. Let's see if we can get some this way. Do you see that? Oh no, let's see. Oh no. Oh, there's, I don't know if you can see right here. Baby check is not there. Oh, I see something moving. Oh, it's so hard to see because the baby chick is so big. Oh, but every now and then, oh, the baby chick moved. It blocked the light. Oh, there it moved again. Now it's brighter because it's moving. Oh, it's so exciting. So exciting. Oh, that space. Can I get it over here? Do you see that? So the egg is much bigger, but the, the chick takes up so much room. The chick takes up, oh, this, this is a, a very bright light, but that light can't even really get through the egg much because the baby chick is in there blocking it. Uh, it's not as exciting as the other day because it's exciting for me because I, whoops, I can tell there. Let's see if the baby chick moves. Some light goes through right there because the baby chick isn't all the way crowded in there. Do you see it moving just a little bit? How it gets darker and lighter? Oh, the baby chick's moving. So cool. Did you see that move? I am so excited. I can't wait to see what these baby chicks look like. Let's see. It's very hard to show you because it's so dark. Oh, I wonder if we'll see anything there. That's my finger, see, you can see my finger. <laughs> Or, oh, look. That's the bot. That's the air pocket. You see the air pocket, and the light shines through the air pocket. Oh. See, there's my egg. There's my egg. Cool. Anyhow. Day 16 on day 18, lockdown. I'll talk to you later. I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye. Okay, little baby. Let's go back into the incubator. We still have water in there. Peep, 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 pe